Corsets, corsets. <laughs> Are you into making corsets this year? I sure hope so. I've got six amazing PDF sewing patterns for you, whether you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And best of all, they are free, free, free. Let's jump right into it. Okay, before I get started, I wanna make sure that I shout out all of the makers of these awesome patterns by leaving a link in the description. So you wanna check those out there, but also look a little bit closer into each of them because some of them actually have video tutorials to help you get through the patterns, especially if it's your first time. So awesome, 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 and free, free, free. Okay, so for the first one, this one is called the Charisse corset. I love this one. It has a straight neckline. I think they're about, uh, let's say 10 panels, maybe. Um, it has the grommets on the back. So a lace up back. The other part of it is it has, um, a bit of structure. The pattern calls for ridge line bones and, um, what have you in there. If you're a little bit on the busty side, you can probably hide some cups in there. So this one's good. This one's good. I like this one because you could make this as a piece of lingerie or you can make this for the boardroom boom boom but not only that you can also make it for um a casual look i love it for casual as well so this one's really really versatile i would say this is probably on the intermediate side yet maybe confident beginner to intermediate so that's number one this one is from mood you can easily make this out of so many different types of fabrics Immediately, I love Ponte. I love like how, especially like for fall, beautiful, beautiful. If you could find a beautiful Ponte um, and line it so that, you know, it has structure on the inside, I think that would be great. Also, uh, cotton sateen would be beautiful. Um, and of course, a brocade. Who doesn't love a beautiful floral brocade that has some highlights and some lowlights? Yeah, so you can pretty much pick whatever you want for fabrics on the outside, but the inside has to have structure and um, no mechanical stretch so that it gives you that, you know, that nice, you know, snatched feeling, okay? All right, so on to the next one. Okay, so this next one is called the Parker, okay? The Parker corset. Super, super cute. It's, it's the cupless corset. Now, Easily, you can see that this is great as a lingerie piece, but this is also an awesome piece for fashion. You could throw this on over anything slouchy, like, you know, a boyfriend uh, dress shirt, like a button down dress shirt. You could throw it over that with some jeans or even some slacks. You could do it with slacks as well. Another um, thing that you could, or you could actually throw this on over a t-shirt. I think that would be super cute as well. I'd even like this over a bodycon dress or over a, you know, a bodycon jumpsuit. Of course, that's, you know, your freakum type of thing. That's when you're going out, you know, to party, you know, with the girls or whatever or whoever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But um, I think this one is really, really versatile. I mean, at the onset, when you first look at it, OK, you think lingerie. But no, it really just depends. What is the fabric that you're going to use for this? That dictates you know, where you can wear it. So this one is by Helen Castillo and she does it also for mood. Okay. Um, again, the link is down in the description. Okay. So looking at the requirements uh, for this particular pattern, it does use bones. One good thing about it, it does not have grommets. So I would say that makes it a little bit easier. This one, I believe only has about seven panels. Uh, one thing it does have that the others don't is an underwire. So it requires an underwire at the front to hold up the little piece in the middle and to keep it nice and tucked um, underneath or, you know, at the rib cage below your breast. But I still say that this one is kind of in between. I would say if you're a beginner who has some experience and you're looking to take take the leap into uh, corset making, this one I think is a good one. Give this one a try because it doesn't have as many details uh, but it still looks amazing. It still looks expensive. It still looks, yeah, it looks like it, it could be hard. You know what I mean? Um, so 
give this one a shot. I, I definitely like this one for the beginner. Okay, so this next one, okay, it doesn't have a name, but I love it. It's another straight neckline, okay? But what I really love about this one is it's uber casual. Definitely a beginner for this one. Very uh, minimal number of panels to still give you that nice structured, uh, you know, silhouette -y look. Is that a word? Okay. Silhouette look. Okay, it's my word today. But anyway, it, it has grommets in the back, but I still think that this is a beginner pattern. I love the style lines, especially on this one. I think that this would look great done in a denim, especially like with denim stitching that highlights the, the style lines. I think this one is awesome for that. And again, you don't have to choose a denim. You, you can use a, a brocade for this one. You could use uh, a sateen uh, would be nice for this one also. Uh, or I could even see this actually in wool, you know, as part of suiting, like maybe a pencil skirt, a, um, a button down with this over top as a, as a vest in a way. I love this. This is, this is beautiful. So most all of these that I'm showing you are lace up in the back so that you can like pull it and get that nice, you know, that whole waist trainer vibe. Yes, I like this one for a beginner. I love it as a casual. And again, this is another one by um, Helen Castillo and she's partnered with Mood on this one. And there are no bones in this one. That really makes it super, super simple and more of a fashion piece rather than a bedroom piece or a lingerie piece. I like this one, especially for fashion. By the way, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I so appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And please, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. I would so appreciate it. I'm trying to grow. All right, so back to it. Okay, so this next one is called the Rose Corset. I love this one. This has, even though it's like, you know, set in a time, it has a very modern feel to me with the way she's constructed the patterns. I love this particular indie designer. She has a YouTube channel and I will link that also in the description. I don't want to butcher her name, but I want to say it's like Aranea, Aranea Black. She's got beautiful styles. This one is a take on an Edwardian ribbon corset. I love this one. This would look good with just about anything. Okay, so Look at her waist, it's so snatched. I just love, love, I love it. Like seriously, this would look great with like even in the in the fall, in the winter with over a turtleneck or a fitted top. Um, it could have, you could wear this with a long flowy skirt. Anything where you want to accentuate your, your waist, that hourglass look and feel. I just love this. I love how it has a bit of shine to it, but it's not over the top. I, I am enjoying the zipper in in the front as well. And, and she has even incorporated like a rose detail on the side. I think that's optional. You can put that on or not if that's your, if you know, your jam. There's also in the back a lace up closure, which I think is beautiful as well. And so I think you get the option. You could use the zipper in the front or the, the lace up in the back. Really, really nice. I would say this is an intermediate pattern it has 10 panels and uh she is very detailed in her instructions even if you have not made a corset before i think that you can follow it if you have got some sewing skills you know a little bit on the intermediate side it can be quite quite detailed but i just love it i think it's so beautiful i think you can do this with just about anything mm -hmm. love it okay on to the next one Okay, so this next one is called the Amber. Now, there's a little twist with this one because as you can see, it's a corset bodysuit, okay? Not only is it a corset bodysuit, it's an over-the-bust one with that beautiful sweetheart neckline. I love it. And so the pattern maker classifies this one as advanced. It has a lot of detail. If you look really closely, all of those little lines that you see are are bones that are holding it up and in place. And on the back of it, you have a um, closure, a lace-up closure. It is a beautiful, I love this design. It looks so modern to me. And it also is very simplistic, especially in this monochrome kind of white look. I love it. And I even think that she, told, she says uh, in her video, she made this with sheet fabric on the top of it. So amazing how, you know, we can transform 
a bed sheet into something this beautiful. It is so gorgeous. I love it so much. And I do believe she has a video tutorial to help you walk through this pattern. It is so elegant to me. And I also think uh, that this would be great to wear under some slacks, right? So it could look very elegant, just very simple. You don't need much. And you could really even throw on a blazer to uh, complete the look. It's just simply gorgeous. You can make this, as I've already said, cottons are great because look at how she did this. And then um, I think jersey fabrics, um, as long as they're stabilized on the inside, brocades are also really good. Any fabric that ha that has no mechanical stretch will probably be the best. And I think she walks through the um, the crotch area because there are specific fabrics that she uses for that area so that it makes it you know easier to wear. Um, and it's just beautiful. I think that um, this also would look great, especially if you're into things like cosplay and costuming. I think that you could use something like this as the basis for so many costumes. Like I could see this being a Batwoman costume. I can see this being a Playboy bunny. And I think she does uh, some example of that on her um, on her site. And gosh, Wonder Woman, any of those types of costumes, you could really like use this as your basis. So this is an awesome pattern. And for it to be free, I can't even imagine. It's It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it comes in a multitude of sizes. I want to say she, she's she got it in 16 sizes. So you can check that out. And if you have modifications that you have to um, do to make it your size, then she even walks through some of that in some of her tutorials. So definitely check out Aranea Black. Uh, and Aranea, please, I, and listen, I apologize ahead of time if I'm butchering your name, but I love your work. And I definitely want to give your channel a shout out. Okay, so this next one I really love for its kind of um, low profile um, and just very simple design. It is called the Anna. And once again, it's Aranea Black. Um, this is one of her patterns and she classifies this as a beginner. I love this one um, because it kind of comes off like an obi belt. You could actually put this on anything. And I love that you can opt to focus on snatching the waist, but you know, maybe giving yourself a little breathing room at the top and the bottom. So it gives it kind of like a blousey feel. Um, and I think it's great for fashion. You could actually use this also with in lingerie with a garter belt and a nice bra set. I think that would be awesome as well. This one has eight panels. Okay. And it has uh, grommets in the back as well but beautiful, definitely one for a beginner. And once again, it's free, it is free. And I can see this in your traditional, like even your satins, if you really wanted to have that more modern sleek feeling, but kind of stand out. Uh, and then you could use any type of fashion fabric uh, that has some stability to it uh, that I think would do this pattern some justice as well. So this is another one of my favorites. And I think that, you know, as a beginner, this one might be one of yours too. As with all of these patterns, again, I love them all. And I think the designers have done an amazing job with these. But I would also say, because there are no two of us that are alike, so make sure you twall, 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 make a, you know, a test garment out of fabrics that are similar to the ones that you're planning on making your final product out of, and you'll be okay. All right. That's it for me, guys. Thank you. If you made it to the end, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to create something beautiful today. I love you guys. Peace.